everyone. Welcome to ST Model Cars. In this video, I would like to show you this 118 scale Volkswagen Golf Mark 7, and this is made by Norev, and this is the official uh, dealer uh, edition. So this is an almost uh, full opening diecast. You can see there that the hood opens, the hatch opens, the two front doors open. However, the uh, the rear doors uh, they don't open. So it's hard to to stay up, right? As soon as you let go, it kind of wants to close. So let's uh, take a closer look at the details here. very sparse um you know other than you know this little coloring here it's just one bit molded plastic and it's not see-through just half molded so there's not that much to talk about the engine details it's, it's just pretty sparse and the, the whole car is basically you can tell that this is a norf uh, budget models they just made it um you know so the volkswagen dealer can put something in the shelf right for people to you know to to, to buy as an extra when they visit the dealership um <clears throat> but the headlight details are pretty good uh, you know, you, you see the, uh, the the lower part here is almost like that daytime running light, right? And then if you look at behind the lens, uh, you know, the, the details are actually pretty good. They have the quad headlights there, uh, you know, that replicates a real car. And you also have the uh, the fog light here, uh, here, right? But unfortunately, on the grill, everything is just molded plastic. Uh, you know, not, uh, you know, it's, it's just like molded plastic. It's not see-through, okay? Um, let's take a look at under the car. Uh, pretty standard details, uh, you know, such as your basic Norf, right? Everything in the front is kind of covered. Uh, you see uh, uh, a good part of the rear suspension, and they actually have a separate piece for the exhaust. So that's not too bad. Um, like I mentioned earlier, this is a <clears throat> budget model uh, for for Norf. So the interior, uh, they are not carpeted. Uh, the headliner with the sunroof, they're all finished. And even the A pillar is actually finished. Like if you look at inside the A pillar, uh, you know they, they finish it with the same colors, the headliner, which is nice. So let's take a look at the dashboard here. Uh, see if I can get it to focus. So they have the uh, the infotainment screen in the middle. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's actually pretty decent, mate. You know, but nothing to write home about. The nice thing about the interior is they you know they have that uh, uh, two tone color scheme going, so it does uh, brighten it up uh, quite a bit. And, you know, again, uh, the two-tone is carried over to the door panel. Uh, here you can see the front door panel. And if I close this, um, you know, you can see a little bit of the detail in the back seat. And unfortunately, it's kind of hard to show just because the rear doors uh, don't open. Okay. So let's look at the, uh, hatch, uh, the hatch area here. Let me use the suction cup and open it. And again, none of them is carpeted. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, they have the shelf here uh, on the top, but it's not, it's not movable. So, okay. uh, taillight details pretty decent too. Uh, you do see some details uh, behind the red lenses. Uh, you know, a Volkswagen logo here, and it says Golf. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, the license plate decal got peeled off. Uh, you know, so I don't have the plate here in the back. Uh, I need to remake that. Okay. Here's the uh, interior from the driver's side. Uh, you know, the the gauges uh, they replicated quite nicely actually. Uh, you know, the steering wheels are replicated nicely as well. And, you know, it has the, the aluminum trim uh, surrounding the airbags, right, or the horn button in the center. So th they actually uh, bothers to do that, uh, which gives the interior uh, a little bit splash of color. And, you know, kind of going back to the door panel, if you look here, um, they also have this aluminum accents here, uh, you know, and they actually painted the, uh, the door pull uh, with the, uh, the aluminum color as well. And they have this, um, um, you know, the courtesy light here, this, this, this red piece here. So, you know, overall, uh, the detail is quite nice, actually. I mean, it's, it's, again, it's a budget model, but it's not the end of the world. Okay. We'll put that in the front seat more so you can kind of see <clears throat> the car with everything closed up. Um, like I mentioned in my, my other review, uh, I'll, I also have a Flickr account where I post uh, diorama pictures of these uh, model cars. Uh, I'll put the link in the description if you want to check that out. And if you have any comments, suggestion, or questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comment section. Much appreciated if you can like the video and subscribe to this channel. Okay, so I will see you in my next video, and thanks for watching.